it's Trisha here and I'm back today with a haul video. Uh, I am in an unusual place right now. I am sitting on the floor of my living room and I thought I'd try to get a little bit more light. Uh, this is my rug. <laughs> so um, They tell you that since uh, there is, uh, what do you call it? And, ooh, the light just went down on there. But um, they tell you that you're not supposed to have a rug on top of a wall-to-wall -wall carpet. Well, <laughs> I have, I don't care what the experts say. I do my own decorating and that's about it. That's the best way to do it. But anyway... I went to my first Michael's grab bag thing and I had heard about it from Ramona of, Tre of I think it is Cherished Treasures and um, I thought ooh I think I need to go to Michael's so this was a spontaneous trip so bear with me I have I have been given on my camera phone, on my phone, that I have approximately 15 minutes and 38 seconds left to film this. So hopefully I get this in here. Enough with the chit chat. Let me get started. The first piece is, looks like in the first grab bag, I got a graduate frame from Michaels. It's cute, and it's a 5x7, as you can see there. And it looks like it's more of a shadow box. So um, I'm going to go ahead and see if I could do that. Uh, I wonder if I could do something about that class of 2017. And don't mind the little thing on the bottom. That's just a little, um, the top of my case, this, um, Decided to make its little debut, so. But anyway. Uh, let's see. I have two of these. Which is, uh, it looks like it's a mat with the words, I love mom on there. So this is more of a Mother's Day, uh, Mother's Day um, mat as, you, as I'm looking at it. And it looks like, is it a, it looks like it was, it's more of a, the opening is more of a four by six, I think. I'm not so sure. The next one that I got in the grab bag is this uh, sugar sheet that says congratulations. And it looks like it has some stickers and some stars. Now, I cannot use this. I just might go ahead and just try to eat it. <laughs> Ew. I don't know how old it is either. Uh, but anyway, and I'm not sure how long sugar sheets last. But it looks like, um, it looks usable. Uh, it's by um, Wilson. Uh, so I'm going to have to check that out. It says, um, for quick and edible decorations, for quick and easy party cakes. And so, yeah, I'm just wondering. The next one is a traveling adventure coloring book. Ooh, this looks neat. Let's see. It says exclusively for Michaels. Let's take a look at a page. Oh, okay. Looks like Michaels wants me to color this this year. So, I'll go ahead and try it. And then next, there's two more mats. Only this time, they both say love on there. So, that's neat. I could definitely use that. This one is an Ocean Escapes coloring book. It 
if it's if I'm not into coloring too much, I might give them to my niece and nephew who are nine and ten. No, to the niece is eight, sorry. Her birthday's not until September. But I think I might give her them that because I don't think I could color in this many pages. And then last but not least, this is a creative inspiration book. It's two books in one, uh, Cats and Dogs. I'm assuming that one side is cats. Yeah. And if you turn it over, the other side is cats. Wait a minute. Where's the dogs? Oh, well, I'm going to have to check that out. And I'm going to go ahead and let's open the other bag. Okay, I'm back. And can I say the next bag is a score for me? Because there's several items that I meant to get during this um, time, during the time before they got in the grab bag that I can say that I now have now. And, oh, I forgot about in the last bag, I got <laughs> these cups. It says, congratulations, grab, grab. But I know what I will do in, in, in with this. It's called, I will drink out of them. So, I got me some cups to drink out of for my water and stuff. And I don't care what it says on there. This first one. I have been eyeing these for every time I go into the store. And there are overlays. And they're sort of um, tag-like. So, um, you could use them for banners. Or you could put them on unusual card, on cards with a triangle. So, that looks... I like that. The next one... They're called canopy picks, but you can easily take the way they look. You can easily take the picks off of there and put them on your cards or your scrapbook layouts. And since I'm a big scrapbooker or card maker, then I will have fun. And this is gorgeous. This flower. Oh, yes. <laughs> I could definitely use this one. The next one looks like it's Pop Flowers Pot Kit. It looks like this, which you can easily uh, put some, put a, um, put cookies on a stand that sort of thing i would use it somewhere else something else and looks like it's several pieces let me see it says contains two containers two bags two ribbons and two tags mm. okay this next one ooh, a cooking utensil who knew, Michaels? You have cooking utensils. That's what it looks like. And on it, it says, toss it up. So this is a salad fork. Hmm. This next one, I heard about Ramona talking about it in her video. And this is a cheese board kick so that's what the cover looks like and i turn it over and these are the contents and yeah you put your cheeses on there those little picks allow you to write exactly uh, what the name of the cheese is so that's interesting along with it can comes some napkins. Hmm. Hmm. 
this one is an O. Now, there's the only O I have in my name, in my whole name, is the O in Logan. So, I'll see what I could do with it. I'm not sure yet, but we'll see. Oh, let's see. The next one is a card making kit. Is by Spectrum Noir, and that's what those they look like. So this is going to be fun. You color it, and then you put your little decorations and sentiments on. That's really interesting. These next ones is I was interested in them, and it's these right here. Let me scoot this out of the way. I have two, one, two, three E's, a J, an O, an R, and that looks like that's it for that. So that, so... They look like they, they you could use them as trays, or I see that you can also hang them up on your wall, so I'm interested in that. Let's see what I could do with letters that my name doesn't start with, but okay. This next one is a lowercase case. I. You know what? As I see these things, if there's a P and an A and a and a one more I and a C and another A in there, I might be able to do one of those weird um, hanging hangings that uh, have different styles of letters to form my name. And let's see. I also got amazing animals in a coloring book. In fact, I got two of them. So this, so the coloring craze is real, and I don't mind. So, that's it. I did go to the Dollar Tree. I got my, and I will do that haul in a separate video. But, as for this grab bag situation, oh, where did I put it? Oh, I have another little bag. It's not a grab bag, but... I just got a sketchbook because I am getting ready to learn how to do more mixed media. And I got two things from Michael's party shop. And well, I got small, white, small clothespins and also uh, something for my planner. So that's about it. And it's coming on 13 minutes, so I need to get out of here and dethrone my some pictures off my phone. But until then, I will catch you later and have a good evening.